Hello everyone, thanks for watching this CCN News Blast. Crown City News is your news, your neighborhood. I'm Natalie Tavidian. Our top story, today is Veterans Day, a day to honor those serving in the armed forces, including local college students. The Altadena Rotary Club honored seven Pasadena City College students during a Veterans Award luncheon today. Charles Hu, Dietrich Hudson, Joshua Miller, Ryan Mills, Felipe Sanchez, Cameron White, and Jorge Zamora all received the $1,500 scholarship award. To qualify, each student has to be a current or past resident of Altadena or Pasadena. The Altadena American Legion Post 470 established the award in 2003 to support the academic success of veterans and servicemen and women on active duty. CCN Beach Checks Police in South Pasadena say they're thankful a vigilant community member reported a suspicious package Wednesday. At 12.15 p.m. yesterday, a resident told South Pasadena police about two pieces of luggage left unattended and chained to a bench at the Mission Gold Line station. Police called in the sheriff's arson and bomb squad. The luggage only had clothes in it, but police are still investigating who it belongs to and why they left it behind. In other news, some PUSD parents and students are waiting anxiously to hear what will happen to their school next fall. The superintendent's report gives them answers tomorrow, and the final decision will come down November 16th. Superintendent Edwin Diaz met with members of the PUSD School Consolidation Committee and the school site councils of Loma Alta and Burbank Elementary Schools to prepare his recommendations to the Board of Education next week. Based on the state budget approved in late October, the board may have to restore potentially $5 million. The board gives Superintendent Diaz the flexibility to recommend closure of three schools or fewer for the 2011-2012 school year. You can check out his full report tomorrow at PasadenaUSD.org. In the CCN City Scope, a local art club celebrates 100 years, and you're invited. The California Art Club is inviting the community to see their exhibits for free tomorrow. To prepare for the event, club members focused on creating artwork to the theme, Capturing California's Preserved Lands and Historic Districts. The exhibit is open every day except Mondays and holidays. For more info, visit CaliforniaArtClub.org. That's it for today's CCN News Blast. To watch us on TV, check out our airtimes at CrownCityNews.com, or if you'd like to advertise with us, give us news, weather, or sports tips. Give us a call at 626-676-9403 or email ccn at crowncitynews.com.